Well, so here it is. It's the Shrinder. The Shrinder. A Gretter. The Gretter. It's a, it's, a, it's a Shredder. Grinder. It's a Grinder. It's a Shrinder. Yeah, so I, I like think it. what's going to happen with this, I know we were a little bit hazy when we finished the last video, but I think what's going to happen with this is we're actually going to grind up apples with it. Now you originally had three different concepts for this, right? There were three different techniques we were looking yeah. at. And this is one of them, just yeah. put the screws on. This seems to be the easiest. Yeah, this was probably the, the most cost effective version. We actually had a version with some index tooling on it. Maybe we'll show that. Uh, yeah. later on. Carbide inserts yeah. that can put into here. That could be really cool. Just a little crazy. And the other was to actually machine this block into a, uh, a Shriner. Right. <laughs> Gritter. Yes, exactly. <laughs> All right. So uh, why don't we step around the, the side here and you can kind of show us how it's going to go together okay. and how it's going to work. Okay. Okay. So here we are at the Shriner case. <laughs> and what I love about this, I think it's so clever. Obviously, you machined out the pocket and then you talked about yeah. it yeah. into the holes put the threaded inserts into here so that you can take this thing apart anytime you want to clean it. Yeah, awesome. and both sides of this come off. The whole thing. Yeah, the whole down. thing just breaks down. I guess the only thing that doesn't break down is the dovetail joinery in the frame. That's it. That's, that's yeah. Good. And so you're going to insert here. Looks like you've got some yeah, so, bushings in here. So this has got, you could, this is going to insert into that bushing like so. And then of course that other piece. This will go on, you yep. put the handle on and boom, that's pretty awesome. All right, well, let's step over to the machine and maybe you can show us how you set that up. And okay, cut it. sounds good. All right, so obviously the threading, the turning and everything was programmed in, I'm, I'm assuming, conversational cam. Yeah. Yep. yeah. I love that because it treats it like a lathe, so it machines it very, very quick. How did you do the whole pattern? So the whole pattern was done in the spire. A spire has a utility in there where you can wrap things around a cylinder, so it was just all laid out in the flat, the spacing that we wanted on the screws, and then wrapped it and and then the, the code. It's the post processor really that actually generates the code for the A axis. Yeah. So that's the critical part. You can you can program an Inspire for a turning and wrap it, but if you don't choose the right post processor, you'll get a flat. <laughs> so it, look at one of our videos and it'll teach you how to do that. <laughs> All, right. All right. So now you cut this yesterday, right? Yeah. And you already recorded the video? Yeah. So maybe we just play the video and take a look and sure. see what happens. Yeah, let's take a look at it. All right, sounds good. Well, this is, uh, I guess, wraps up this whole project. We're ready to rock and roll and start yeah. squeezing some apples and shredding some apples. Shredding well, I them. think we're going to shrine some apples. Shrine some apples? Or grit and, some. And then press them in here and start <laughs> right. to start drinking. Sure. Sounds I've never like been a plan. much of a drinker, but maybe I'll start drinking. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, Harry, this has been a great project. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's, it's been a lot of fun. It's got so a lot many of fun. cool features and really yeah. thought out well. Yeah. It's, it's an awesome job. Yeah. Maybe at some point I can convince you to put together all the plans and, and we could uh, put those on our store. Yeah, yeah, maybe we could do that. All right. Sure. <laughs> Sounds good. All right, well, see you in the next project. <laughs>